in the offense. So from so he ha he knows what he's supposed to do from an assignment standpoint. And now again, it's continuing to fine tune the fundamentals and techniques, uh, and then whatever t uh, you know, whatever he can see, maybe catch a tip or maybe understand what the defense is doing is trying to do a little bit better. Those things will help him anticipate things a little bit better as, as he continues to, to grow within the offense. Uh, as we know, repetition is the mother of all learning, right? So uh, he's benefiting greatly from getting a lot of these reps and getting to play with that, that uh, first group of offensive linemen and kind of starting to develop some of that continuity with them and understand how they see things and how they block things uh, and being able to communicate with the centers and, and the protection part of it. Uh, so it's been it's been really, really good. Uh, and then going back to uh, the way the offseason went last year with all the COVID stuff where, where he missed all those reps as a rookie. So obviously it's it's been really good to get him out there and, and uh, Hopefully we can continue to make up ground from that, that standpoint. Obviously he's a competitor, so he wants to do more, but you know, uh, we have a plan and, and uh, we're executing the plan with him. It's, uh, I think it's been a part of him having some success the past couple of years uh, through the season and toward the end of the season. So he'll continue to progress that way. But uh, we've kind of started calling him Coach Henry because he's back there with a script now and he's calling out he's calling out all the plays and he's helping me substitute the guys in. And so that keeps him involved in practice. And then it's my little sneaky way to help him continue to, to grow in the offense because uh, now he's calling out full formations and. You know, so maybe he's, my thought is maybe he's continuing to gain uh, knowledge and understanding by hearing how the quarterback calls things and hearing how Coach Downing's calling things. So uh, it keeps him involved. It keeps him watching and, and seeing what's happening. And he can coach those guys when he comes off the field as well, or when they come off the field, I should say. Sure, you know, um, it's about the team first, and Derek is absolutely a team guy, uh, and he puts the team before he puts before himself. Uh, and but obviously, there's a little bit of individual investment with everybody out here, you know. Uh, so we have not talked about goals uh, other than team goals, and and then being the best teammate and the best player that you possibly could be uh, at all times, and and that's what he's focused on. I'll be curious to see, you know, all of us like yourself, you study the game and you see how people play football. Uh, and obviously with uh, two guys like that, along with the other receivers that we have, um, you know, how are they going to play them? I don't know. I mean, we've seen the damage that AJ's done when he gets single coverage. Uh, and how it's helped the team. And uh, obviously from afar, we've seen the career that uh, Julio's had. So it'll be interesting to see how they, they how people line up and play and Todd and the offensive staff will adjust accordingly.